but even nothing has to kill myself. is my son. His name is Vincent Tracy. He's 35 years old. He was going to be a doctor, then a lawyer. Once even, he considered studying for the priesthood. His ideas changed with the wind. But he became a successful department store executive. He had great imagination. People liked him. He could have had a brilliant career. Mother, uh, you look wonderful. Say, I'm a little short of cash, uh, some extra entertaining for the store. I wonder, could you let me have, say, 500? Well, a uh, couple of hundred, just to tide me over? No, Vincent. I've told you before. You drink up every dollar that I give you. I won't make it easy for you anymore. I won't give you another cent. Vincent is my brother. For as long as I could, I tried to help him meet his problem. Uh, Jack, you're my brother. You've got to help me. I'm through, Vincent. I've tried everything I know to help you. Hospitals, psychiatry, everyone's tried to help. Except you. But you're beyond our help. In the last few years, I've gotten to know Vincent Tracy well. Well, I've had the withdrawal treatment, the shots and the vitamin buildup, so I'm all set. You'll miss me, Molly. This is my last trip. You'll see. I'm no real alcoholic. You know that. Patient Tracy has been hospitalized 27 times for alcoholism. Diagnosis, hopeless alcoholic. Prognosis, continued use of alcohol will be fatal. Patient Tracy was last released six weeks ago. I love him. I have for years. He knows. He loves me, too. Eddie, don't give me that. Certainly I had a few drinks. Everyone had a few drinks. It was a dance. D-A-N-C-E, not a temperance tea. I was perfectly all right. I didn't start any fight. That guy deliberately bumped into me. Oh, Hetty, uh, would I lie to you now, huh? Vincent, there's no point in our being together when you're like this. I don't know how to help you anymore. I love you. I always will. And if you can lick this, I'll be right here waiting to marry you. But go now, please. I watched him drink away a fortune and a future, and I still love him. Sometimes, late at night, I wonder if there's anything left of the man I love to wait for.
My business is women's fashions, 7th Avenue. Vincent's was fashions too, 5th Avenue. He was born a Catholic. I was born a Jew. We haven't met yet, Vincent Tracy and I, but we will meet if he lives through this night. Father Tracy, I've just heard from Vincent. Oh, Father, our prayers have been answered. He's back. Hetty, my dear, please don't get your hopes up. You've been through this with him so many times before. This may be just like all the others. No, not this time. There's something in his voice. I can't explain it. I think he can make it this time. I hope you're right. I hope I'm right too, Father. Goodbye.
You said if I ever licked it, you'd be waiting. Well, I've got to start. Six weeks of washing dishes and selling papers, I begun to find some answers that worked. I couldn't have come back to you unless I had. What kind of answers? Well, six weeks ago, I found a drink I didn't want. My hand reached for it. I never needed to drink more. I decided not to take it. That took courage, Vincent. No. No, I, I saw something I'd never seen before. Well, I'd never looked at it squarely and honestly. Those were my hands reaching for that whiskey. Nobody ever poured a drink down me but me. Of course not, but it became a sickness with you. No, I don't buy that, Hetty. I never did. I drank because I wanted to. I willed it. I wasn't born an alcoholic. I made myself one. Then it comes down to personal will. Right. My hand's reaching for a drink. And that makes me my problem. And I'm the only one that can stop my drinking. How many times have I told you to get it through that thick Irish skull of yours? You can do anything you want. I never had the courage. And where does a man go for courage if he hasn't got any? To his God if he's got one. It takes time. There's time, Vincent. I got a long way to go. You know the way you didn't take that drink? like a miracle. I still owe something on that miracle. I don't know what, but I'm willing to look for the answer. And I'll help you. <laughs> you know what I'd like to do? Hmm. I'd like to take a good long walk and show you off. My second-hand $7 suit? I wouldn't care if it cost 700 couldn't be prouder of you. Don't waste your time on him. He's nothing but a dirty, drunken bum. Do I look like a dirty, drunken bum? I didn't mean you. Six weeks ago, I looked just like him. He needs your help now more than he ever did in his life. Hadn't I better call an ambulance, Vincent? No, I hail a cab. I'll have to get him to Bellevue quick. It's all right, Mac. I'll take care of you. Get that cab. Mac and I need it pretty bad. Taxi! Taxi! Uh, what is he? Some sort of a doctor? No, he's just a man who's found himself. You're making it, Mac. Get lost, will you? Not me. I just got found. They tell me they've got you just about dried out. Look, if you want to talk, go talk to them. I've talked to them. They're going to spring you out of here in a few days. Then what are you going to do? Take up bird watching. I had you pegged as a finger painter. Look funny, man. Are you going to get out of here? Why don't you try tossing me out? They told me all about you, the doctors, the attendants. I've had my ear been good about the nice stranger who brought me here, who's been here every day. So what do you want from me, thanks? No, I'm bucking for Eagle Scout. I need the merit badge. Look, you saved my life, okay. Only you're not stuck with it, I am. I know. And you just want to lie there and feel sorry for yourself. You got problems. No one understands them but you. No one cares. Look, what are you trying to do? Now get, get out, get out. I'm sick of looking at you. Oh, well, good. Why don't you try looking at yourself then for a while? Go on. Take a good look. Ward B, first bed. When are you releasing him? Day after tomorrow. 
about noon, isn't it? That's it. Will you give me a call if it's any earlier? I'd like to be here when he gets out. So he won't take that first drink, huh? Maybe. You know, he claims he doesn't know who you are. He doesn't. And you're still trying to save his life? Maybe I'm trying to save both our lives. less than two months ago. Yeah, sure. If you don't know much about it, you wouldn't give a drunk ten bucks. Why? Because he'll drink it up. You decided to then? It's not a question of deciding to it. No? Who decides for you? Well, nobody, but... I can't help myself anymore. Once maybe I could, but... Well, it's got a hold of me. I just can't help it. But you said you took a good look at yourself. It's a sickness. It's a weakness. Sure, you get sick from drinking, but you don't drink because you're sick. The same thing that makes you drink can make you stop. Your own will. Oh, you've got it licked, have you? Yeah, because I know now that it's up to me. As soon as you find out it's up to you, you'll have it licked too. Look, uh, why don't you call me in a few days? Wednesday, Wednesday night. Let me know how you're doing. How nice of you to come. Dolly, I want you to meet Mo Greenberg, the greatest man on 7th Avenue. <laughs> My husband. How do you do? I already know a lot about you from Hetty. Well, I know a lot about you from Hetty. <laughs> so it's a standoff. <laughs> do come and sit down, Mo. Thank you. You know, this, uh, this work you're doing, I'm, I'm interested, but there's only one thing I don't understand. Why do you do this? I mean, you pulled yourself out of the gutter, got yourself a job. It's a lot for a man to do. Why? Well, because I want to. Because one bum who made it told another. Now we've got an underground of drunks. Guys like I was, who tried everything and failed. They hear about me, and that's all they need to know. Well, that's why you do it, because they need help. And faith in themselves. Somewhere along the line, I... Lost my faith. Patience, humility, tolerance, charity. I never had any. I'm learning about them now. Like I always tell my wife Rose there, quality's worth having. Do you need help? Yeah. You've got it. Hey, you look like you're empty. Some more coffee? Coming right up. So it works. It works. By the grace of God. You know what we need? A farm. A farm? When you want a farm, isn't the apartment enough? It's not as good as a farm. A place removed from everything, away from all the stresses and pulls of their old life. They have to take a good long look at themselves, and that isn't easy. You think this idea of a farm's a good investment, Mom? I don't know farms, Father, but I know Vincent. I've seen the results. Over 200 patients, men, women, kids to old folks, and he sold 90% of them. Vincent's a good investment. I was up in the Helderberg Mountains last week, Vincent. I saw a farm for sale there. Oh, that beautiful country, Mo. Have you ever been there? No. A lovely farm. Perfect setting for a hospital. Oh, not a hospital, Jack. Not, not with bars and walls. A home. A place cheerfully decorated. Good food. A place conducive to straight thinking. A home. Well, I just hope it works, that's all. Because we've tried everything. 
Sometimes I just think there isn't any use. And I keep saying to Henry, a leopard just cannot change his spots. But you are not a leopard, are you, Henry? You're a human being. That makes a lot of difference, Mrs. Haley. Look, you've had a long drive. Why don't you step inside and ask Avery to fix your cool drink? Well, if it's all right, I... It's all right. But I like that. We'll see you later. You just broke one of her favorite theories, Mr. Tracy. She's had me a leopard for years. You think she drove you to drink? I know you? blamed well she did. Well, we'll talk about that later. Right now, I'd like to tell you a little bit about what we can do for you here. How we look at the subject of alcoholism. Yeah, that's what I'm here for. You know, alcoholism isn't the basic problem, Henry. Man is. Alcoholism is not a disease. It's a vice. It's acquired as any other vice is acquired. You will it on yourself. That habit takes hold. So, it's up to you. Me? Well, you weren't born an alcoholic, Henry. Any more than a gambler is born a gambler, or a drug addict, a drug addict. You've got to be honest with yourself. I admit it. I drink. I drink too much. That's because of your peculiar mental response to alcohol. But how was that caused? Because you expect something from liquor that liquor was never intended to do for you. Like helping you cope with the lousy breaks of life. Therefore, it becomes a moral issue not to take that first drink. Remember, Henry, there's no compulsion there. You're not compelled to take that one. You will yourself to take it. Therefore, will becomes the controlling factor. And what you will yourself to do, you can will not to do. I don't know if I can will myself not to drink. Well, of course not. You've never tried. But that's what we do here. Help you build a powerful will so you can. Well, that's a, a big job for a guy in the shape that I'm in. You can do it, Henry. As soon as you get that will in good repair and keep it there. You're no different from the hundreds who've come to Tracy Farms. Why don't you go inside now and Avery will show you your room. Thanks. Darling, look who's here. I asked him to stay to dinner. Well, Phil. Oh, you certainly come a long way since you pulled me out of the gutter. Uh, how are you? Fine, thank you. Got a great job and... Well, the wife and kid are outside, and I want you to meet them. You were right. You taught me that it takes honesty and courage to lick my drinking, and I want to thank you. Don't thank me. Those you didn't get from me, they're yours by the grace of God. Honey, 